Yeah. Um, I'm going yeah. back to choose your fighter. Okay, this is great. Okay. Okay, so, so how good. are you feeling if you had to rank Piper versus Ezra? <sighs> Piper versus Ezra, I'm feeling Ezra right now. Sorry, Piper, uh-huh. but Ezra's just adorable. That's um, fair. I'm trying to decide if I like Finn or Omen more. I feel like I like Finn more, so that means the next one to date is Omen. Okay. Which makes an, an amount of, blah, 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 blah. it makes an amount of sense. I, I mean, it I does. I love I doing Omen's voice, around. so. Omen yeah, is, I, I love think, Omen's voice too. Omen is one of my favorites. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Very well. Just remember that all eyes are on you. I'm not gonna say the joke again. And don't forget to change. <laughs> I forgot about that joke. <laughs> oh god, thank you for not- we would be here for another hour. I nod, smiling politely. Yes, General. Bye, General. Take a good Good evening, leave. Hunter. Get lost, I already know how this works. Take your boots Go fuck yourself, leave. Hunter. <laughs> Take your <laughs> boots and leave. These bo- those boots are made for those walking, made General. For walking. <laughs> <laughs> the thing is, those I boots are probably from the not south. made for walking. They're, those are purely fashion boots. Oh, you for sure. You cannot get very far in those Well, not boots. only the are they thigh high, high, but they are heeled. And the knee is too, t- too tight. Yeah, they're heeled. I'm sure they're custom. Over- the knee cannot be they- too, t- too tight. Yeah, yeah, they've got to be ready to, like, well, they're like able break to into action. Them. Yeah. Oh, that's true. Okay, anyway, they tell an expensive looking fur coat and head out into the chill. It's a very good coat. I looked down at my outfit, signs where I assign myself to the fact that I probably should change, and then I put on something that looks much worse, and then I go out into the soap. Okay. The cold is biting as I step out to the warmth of the wolf. Out of the warmth of the wolf. I head for Ezra's shop, that being the last place I saw Omen. I can think of no better person to spend such an event with, knowing the curious demon is sure to be excellent company. Soap is still falling, and Lenaris looks beautiful beneath the blanket of sparkling, luscious white. I turn the corner and see Finn and Ezra outside his shop, the mage light lantern flickering and fading as the witch steps out onto the street. He squeals as Finn shoves a handful of snow down the back of his coat, shoving the vampire playfully. Finn picks him up and spins him around once, twice, the brightest smile of Ezra's flushed, freckled face as he releases him. That's a t- That's cute. Sarah, are you going to the festival? Y'all were just having a moment. I'm so sorry I interrupted it. Y'all keep being cute. I'm sorry. I nod eagerly. Yes, well, I was told I had to. Willenheim, I'm guessing. Got it in one. At least you get a night off, I suppose. Set it while you can. How are you feeling, by the way? Not... not dope. My head is clear after my exceptionally long sleep, but a strange feeling still lingers. I'll be okay. I like the idea of you in universe saying not dope. Not dope. Not dope. I've been better. I'll be okay. Just a little confused. Hopefully I can get some clarity when I get to speak to Harry in August in the morning. They share a loaded look and I feel oddly like they're keeping something from me. Hey, what are you keeping from me? Hey. We'd better be going if we want to make the most of the festival. Yes. Would you like to join us? I still can't get over how adorable they were just then. Actually, I was looking for Omen. Another shared look, this time a little more playful. Yes, okay, it's funny that I've got a crush on Omen. Can you tell me where he is? The demon, hmm? You don't strike me as shut the type up. to what? Shut up. Like, I don't, you're not even real, and I'm like, shut up. Ezra elbows him in the arm, causing the vampire to flinch. I doubt it hurt him, but he plays along anyway. Finnegan, please. Like, don't judge me. Sorry. Don't kink shame me in my own home. He's inside. Take care of him, actually, won't you? He's actually the only one I haven't seen yet. And don't let him eat any chocolate. I beg you. I will, and noted. Goodbye, Sarah. Have fun. I like how blatantly and obvious it is that, like, if you don't do either of their routes, they go on a little date together because that was so I'm, I can't get over how adorable that was that was so adorable they take off down the street Ezra quietly cursing Finn out as they go <laughs> the vampire slings like I'm thinking Ezra. that like Ezra's whole like really sweet thing is a little bit of like a a little bit of a front because Ezra never curses you out to my knowledge but like Finn fair game like fuck you what the fuck, do, well, what the well, fuck well, do you think you're doing like a long time like he's known Finn a long time. They they're they're past it, you know. They're, that's There's true. I think they've known each other like five years or something like that. The vampire slings his arm over Ezra's shoulder, throwing his head back and laughing loudly. Don't, 
don't judge me. I can still hear it echoing off the stonework when they're out of sight. I step up onto the stoop and knock once before entering. The shop is warm, a nice reprieve from the biting winter outside. I spot a pointed tail swaying behind the shop counter, and as the bell above the door jingles, Owen pops up. Please don't be eating chocolate. You're not supposed to- Aww. <laughs> Sarah! Hello? I said it. Oh, uh, it- you, said like, clicked Scylla. out. I couldn't hear you. Yeah, you glitched. I couldn't hear you. Oh, oh well. no. This outfit is just a coat vest thing over his normal outfit, which I don't love. <laughs> <laughs> slacking, slacking, Omen. Hello, Omen. What are you up to down there? I was just looking for my notebook. Didn't you give that to me? I thought I'd lost it, but I just hid it well. He did not give it to you. He let you see oh. it. Okay. I had to wait for Finn and Ezra to leave. I'm not supposed to go near the counter. <laughs> it's like a cat. <laughs> like, get off the counter. No. Why not? He drops his gaze, his tail wrapping around his leg, ears drooping. Well, I may or may not have accidentally set fire to it once. Ugh. I move to where he stands, it's sure enough. <laughs> what is that noise? Charred. I just like, like, yeah, it's a good reason not to go near the counter. At the base is charred, blackened. Does that happen a lot? Well, no, here's what I want to say about that vest. I'm 10,000% sure that, like, Omen does not have cold winter clothes and... Ezra was like, are you going to go out in that? And, and Omen was like, yes! And Ezra was like, okay, you're going to put this on. And he just, like, buttoned it on Omen yeah. like he was a child. <laughs> like, and yeah. Finn's just like, okay, are we going to... Like, he's an adult. And Ezra's like, just don't touch me. You better be... Like, <laughs> I'm the only one around here who's all safe. Like, just... <laughs> Just like angry mom friend, like buttoning up somebody else's coat. Like, yeah, but doesn't the true. coat look like something Ezra probably owns? Yeah, I, honestly, I'm pretty yeah, sure that's I what it is. Is Ezra's just like this is my extra wait, vest? Wait, 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 wait. Flame details. That mm. that's that reads Omen to me. That does. Maybe he. Yeah. Hmm. So here's the thing. Omen does like have a job, right? Like, ha like ha where does oh, Omen does from? not. Omen doesn't have a house. Little Omen doesn't have a house. Omen doesn't have a job. Um, this is definitely a gift. Yeah, that's, that's true. Saying. It was probably one of Ezra's old ones, and then... It was one of Ezra's old ones. Ezra, one. like, yeah, yeah. sewed some details onto some it. Some cute little de decals on it, just for you, Omen. And Omen's like, wow, thank you, but in the voice that you do. <laughs> he shakes his head, looking a little sad, maybe even guilty. It doesn't, but when it does, it's scary. I try hard to control it, but uh, sometimes my emotions get the better of me. That's kind of cute. Were you looking for Ezra? You just missed him. I wasn't. No, I was looking for you. His eyes grow wide, brow raised. His tail unfurls from around his leg, gently swaying from side to side. I just love that they included, like, tail details. Me? Why? I don't know. Finn seemed to put two and two together. Do you want to try a little bit? Like, rub your brain cells together? <laughs> okay. You got okay, some brain cells to rub together? Omen and Alcar share the brain cells, right? And like, oh, no, they, the <laughs> they ping back and forth, and usually Alcar has them, believe it or not. It's like a gang of a game of pong, but with the brain cell. <laughs> yeah. and every now and then, one of them has a thought. I would love well, to yeah. see you to the. And mm -hmm. the thing is, like, Omen could have them, but mm -hmm. Omen doesn't know what like societal norms are here, and therefore mm -hmm. will just hand the brain cells off to Alcar to make the decisions. But Alcar doesn't like the societal norms here. So that yeah, kind of our car doesn't give a shit. On yeah. <laughs> I would love to take you to the festival, if you'd like that. Bless you. You would? I laugh, charmed by his obvious shock. Of course. Don't you think it would be fun? I think most things with you would be fun, Sela. Aww. Can we watch the fireworks together? We can literally do anything you want. If you asked me to like set the moon on fire, I would do it. Like you could ask me for anything right now and I would do it. So the answer is yes. Oh, and get some hot chocolate? I'll literally buy out the hot chocolate stock for you, dude. I will Remember ruin that the hot Ezra chocolate told you market. not to give him chocolate. I will ruin the <laughs> hot chocolate market. I will destroy like all the chocolate companies on earth will go out of business because i'll buy up all their stock and then we'll be able to restock in time like 
Oh. He looks at me as if he's testing the waters, waiting to see if Ezra has informed me that he's banned from indulging in the sweeter things. You're you're rolling with me now, babe. We will get you some chocolate. Maybe we'll just stick to the fireworks? Nope, that's a lie. He already told you. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was worth a shot. Can't he just have like a half shot of, of, of the chocolate? Like, <laughs> a like shot of hot chocolate. Milk? We do mostly milk and then like half the chop. Like, come on, look at him. Look at him. Look at him. Are you looking? Look at him. Oh yeah, no, Grab I would not be able to like. If Omen came up to me and was like, "Can I have some chocolate?" I'd be like, "Yes, here." I have chocolate sitting on my desk right now. He can have all of it. I will but hand also, feed like, it to him. Relatable because I'm pretty sure I'm mildly allergic to soy, and I will still eat things with soy in them, no matter how they make my tongue swell up. I have Snickers here, I have a Milky Way, I have several twigs, you can have all <laughs> Why of do you have all that candy? Can I have a candy? Because, yeah, you can have a candy, you can have as much candy as you want. Okay. I, my my dad gave me like a real big bag of candy at Halloween, and I forgot it existed, and I've just been eating it lately. <laughs> Is it expired? No, it's fine. I mean, it's <laughs> Halloween candy in May, but I like it's fine. <laughs> It tastes fine. It's still fine. Andrew told me it was okay, and and that's all I need. Because <laughs> I was going to throw it out, but Andrew's like, no, 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 it's still good. And I'm like, okay. Anyway. Well, if Andrew says it, it's law. If Andrew said, I, I watched him eat one. Like, this was like a month ago, but yeah. He grabs his notebook, tucking it into the safety of his fluffy coat. Let's go. I'm going to get you some chocolate. I'm going to get you some chocolate. I don't care what Ezra says. I don't care what anybody says. Omen skips along beside me, tipping his head skyward to catch snowflakes on the tip of his tongue. Okay, so Omen's baby. Got it. A tongue which I'm startled to discover is alarmingly long and is as black as the night. Oh! <laughs> okay, just gonna tuck that information away for later. I try not to stare, but it's hard. Very hard. Omen, do you mind me asking what kind of demon you are? He stops dead in his tracks, looking around to check that we're alone as we continue down the icy cobbled street. I'm not allowed to tell. Well, that's not suspicious. Does Ezra know? He nods, wrapping his arms around himself. Well, then you you already broke the rules once. Why can't you break the rules for me? Oh. Yes, but I didn't tell him. He just knew. No one else does, though. I could. Sorry, Sarah. I'd like to tell you, but... It's fine. I understand. No, I don't. He smiles, twirling around once, twice, tipping his head back once more. You're so cute. So cute. He's clearly enamored with the snow, wiggling his fingers, palm facing upward as he catches flakes against pale skin. They melt upon contact, faster than they would if I were to do the same. He looks a little sad, a heavy sigh falling from his lips. What's the matter? He stops, turning to face me. Sometimes it sucks being as warm as I am. We're gonna get you some gloves, some thermal, like, gloves, and we're gonna build a snowman right here, right now, on this broom street. We'll put the broom next to the snowman, it'll look like he's holding it up, it'll be so cute. We're yeah. gonna do that right now. I love snow. We don't have it where I come from, but it I can't melts. enjoy it because it melts too quickly. Gloves, gloves, gloves. Oh, see, I was, yep, yeah, I was right. I said snowman, but same thing. I know something fun we could do that you'd be quite good at, actually. That's a good point. You would melt it away and it would look really good. Uh, you do? I nod, reaching out. He takes my hands, and I feel just how warm he is. It's not uncomfortable, but definitely a shock at first. Sorry, I know it's weird. We don't have to- Shut your mouth. We holding hands. It's fine. It's nice. It's cold out here. It's, yeah. It is? I squeeze his hand to reassure him, his warmth seeping right down to my bones. Oh. I'm freezing. You're warming me up. He smiles, and it's something soft, sweet. I'm glad. I clear my throat, trying not to get too distracted by the way he's looking at me with that charming gaze. Now, we just need to lay in the snow. Lay down in the snow? Trust me, babe. But it will just melt under me. I know. I drag him towards an undisturbed patch of snow that sits between two houses, falling to my knees and urging him to follow. Sure enough, the snow quickly melts beneath him. Well, that's kind of the point here. 
Sweet. Just copy me, okay? I'm gonna make angels with a demon. <laughs> he nods quickly, following my lead as I lay on my back, still clasping his hand as I splay out my arms and legs. He starts to laugh at me in my flapping, but when he realizes what I'm doing, he enthusiastically joins in. I help him stand when we're done, and a snow angel is far more impressive than my own. See? You can have fun with the snow. You're an angel now. He leans against me, laughter still shaking his shoulders. <laughs> it's the first time I've ever been called an angel. I'm going to call you an angel every day for the rest of my life. I'm going to change your name in my phone to Angel. Bye. <laughs> We reached the market a little while later, having become quite distracted with Omen, Omen's fascination with the snow. He's in an amazing mood, bright and cheerful, and I feel my worries melting away while I'm in his presence. He insists that we seek out the area of the market where they sell food and drink, and I keep my wits about me and heed Ezra's warning. I'm feeding him chocolate! I don't care what anybody says, I'm feeding him chocolate! No chocolate, I don't care! You're serious? I see him on my ground, even when he looks at me with those big brown eyes. See, if you had your own job, you could buy your own chocolate. Ezra said no, and I trust that he's looking out for you. Do you want me to t do you want to tell me why you can't have chocolate? Well, I might be a little bit allergic to it. Oh, I thought he would just be like hyper. <sighs> Demons can have allergies. I guess we can. Demons can have a little allergies as a treat. Then definitely not. I don't want you getting sick. He huffs, sat, sidling, sidling up to me, his tail swaying lazily behind him. Listen, all that happens is my tongue gets a little weird. <sighs> it's already weird. It's really long and No, black. but like, big fucking mood. Like, honestly, Omen is kid in this moment. Because, <laughs> me too. Like, I, with soy, I'm just like, mm-hmm. Well, I'm gonna pay later. Like, I... That's why I can't eat like anything with peanut butter in it because of the soy products. Um, but I'll be like, I just want one Reese's cup. It's fine. My tongue swells up, but it's okay. <laughs> and everyone's <laughs> like, you will not be able to breathe. And I'm like, and? Like, well, technically it's you not so bad nose. I can't breathe. It's <laughs> Okay, it fills up your whole esophagus. Mm. <laughs> How long do you I think your tongue is, Sarah? <laughs> I don't know. Okay. It goes all the way down Go your throat. On. A heavy, stubborn sigh, and I wonder if I'm about to see a demon temper tantrum. That would be so cute and so dangerous. <laughs> Instead, he offers me a smile. It just goes... tingly. Tingly? He nods, his tail curling around my wrist, giving it an insistent tug. Please, just a little. It tastes so good. <sighs> He's using his tail. This is, like, yes. very... I get to give him chocolate, yes! I'm sorry I'm about to murder you, but I wanted to give you chocolate. <laughs> I find it quite hard to deny him when he's looking at me like that. I sigh, defeated, and before I've even said yes, he's excitedly clapping. Oh, Fine, but just a tiny taste. Nothing too crazy. Deal? Deal. I don't trust you. You pick something and we'll share. I return with a box of chocolate truffles, lovingly wrapped in gold tissue paper and tied with a red bow. You get one truffle. You get one truffle. You get a single truffle. You don't get any more truffles, okay? You get one truffle. This reminded me of you, the colors. Oh, that's cute. Yes, they're my favorite. Now, it's chocolate time. You get one. You get one. I roll my eyes, unable to stop myself from smiling as I open the box, letting him pick one. He delicately brings it to his lips, taking a careful bite. He hums contentedly as he chews, and I take the other half of the truffle from him before he has a chance to swallow it whole. Good. It tastes amazing. Yes, well, it's always the things we like the most that we can't have. He sticks his hand in his mouth, and I quickly crowd closer, prying it away. Are you okay? Oh, shoot. He clears his throat, lashes fluttering as he looks at me. I'm fine, it's just a little tingle. God, I should not have given it. I feel bad now. It's annoying, but it's quite, um, nice. It's nice? Oh. I clear my throat, trying to snap myself in this little daze. Omen, that's weird. Into. Omen, that's weird. Omen, hey. Omen, you're arrested for horny on main crimes. <laughs> Omen, 
<laughs> far be it for me. Far be it for me to judge anybody. But oh, that is kind of weird to have like a allergy thing. I clear my throat, try to snap myself from this little daze I've suddenly fallen into. As long as you're okay. Aren't the fireworks due to start soon? Almond shrugs, looking up at the sky. Was, th was that a flirt option? Because we didn't do any flirting. <laughs> I kind of lost track of time. I'm having too much fun with you. Yeah, because I give you chocolate and make snow angels with you. I smile back, warmth blooming in my chest. We should make our way there, just to be sure. Let's go. This is a short one. The docks are packed. Teaming with I think Almond's is the shortest, which is a mm. travesty. That's literally a crime. That should be illegal. We squeeze as close as we can, but Omen stays close. Apparently not but, like, a huge fan Piper's of such a big crowd. is longer not because of, like, getting to flirt with Piper, but because it gives you more world building with regards to the relationships between hunters and enforcers. Yeah, but... And, like, the younger hunters. Yeah. So it makes sense. I, it just... It makes sense. I don't care. I want Omens to be really long. Fair. You Me too. Know. The sky suddenly comes alive with loud, bright bursts of ever-changing colors. I tear my gaze from the fireworks, looking at Omen. He's transfixed, staring up at the sky with such a naked wonder that my chest aches. Wow, they are so, so beautiful. You know what else is beautiful, Omen? Me. <laughs> he meets my gaze, <laughs> blushing when he sees that I'm already looking at him. Do you see, sir? Oh, I see. I nod slowly, a small smile creeping onto my lips. I see. Even over the loud boom of fireworks, I hear his breath hitch. And unless I'm seeing things, a low, deep orange glow, glow thrumming right where his heart lies. Whoa. He places his hand upon his chest, fingers curling in the fabric of the jacket. An impossible warmth radiating off him. The colors that burst in the sky reflect upon his pale skin, and I see just how dark his eyes have turned, almost black. He closes them, long lashes resting atop pink cheeks. The display comes to an end, the crowd cheering, clapping. I lean in, and then somebody screams. Then, somewhere in the distance, I hear an awful, bone-chilling scream. <sighs> Somebody got murdered on our fun date night. Wow, Piper's short. Wow. She's like 5'6". Aww. Beetle.